Hi, my name is Matt from ClickBid, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to set up multiple users for your admin. When you sign up for ClickBid, you receive your primary admin, which gives you access to everything in your account. But there's many times where you want to give somebody access to a very specific thing, and that's it. And you may want to give multiple people different access to different things. So the way to do that is to go to your software settings and then your users. Now, you'll see a small little window up here at the top where it asks you for a user that you want to edit or create a new user. If this is your first time using it, you would just go ahead and tap on Create. Drop the name in here and Create. It'll go ahead and create that person and their record with the most basic of permissions. Now, this is a pretty long page with a lot of checkboxes, but uh, let me show you how it breaks down. It should make things quite a bit easier. In the admin, if you look to your left, you have different tabs, starting with training and support, coming down to recurring donors. Each one of these main tabs is represented in an all caps bolded section here. Training permissions, dashboard, software settings, all the way down to recurring donations. So really what we're having you do is turn on and off certain things that you want to give people access to. So let's say, for instance, we want somebody to have access to manage the landing page, the virtual venue that you're sharing to all of your donors when you launch your website. So I'm going to turn off the request support, the pre-event survey. This is just for somebody. Sample person is going to be able to log in and edit their landing page. So I don't need them to have access to the dashboards, and I don't need them to have access to the software settings except landing page content. Now, if you'll notice, software settings has these menu items underneath its main tab. You'll notice that each one of these pages correspond to a checkbox. If I wanted all of these pages to be available to the person who I'm creating an account for, I would just check the box next to the bolded header and it would automatically select all of them for me so I don't have to click, 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 click. Or I can turn them all off. In this case, I only want to give them access to the landing page content. Now, you can see here that we roll down the page. There's bidder permissions, item permissions. The other extra section that I want to call out is the Event Central tab. Inside the Event Central tab on the menu, you have a Butler menu item. We actually broke that down a little bit more because the Butler tool in ClickBid is the kind of the Fisher Price, what I call the Fisher Price check in, check out, add a bid. It's for the volunteers at the event itself. They don't need access to the full admin. So I would want to give them access to Butler, but I don't need them to be able to view the event stream or control and view the event stream, but they can do everything else. They can use Butler lookup, uh, allow Butler lookup, remove bids. I don't need them to manage the appeal, raise the paddle, but they can add bids as well. So this is a very basic setup for somebody who wants to help me check people in at the event itself. And then again, I can leave all of these unchecked. That way, the person who logs in from, to the admin doesn't have access to all of my other critical information. Now, if I want to copy this sample person here, if I wanna copy them and create another volunteer, I could just copy to new user and they'll ask me for another name and email address. Later on, once I've gone ahead and edited and created all of my users, if one of them comes to me and says, Matt, I don't know what my, my email address is. I know you sent it to me, but I can't remember which one it was. I can just choose from the dropdown and I can see sample person. Oh, perfect. I had sent that to person at example.com. So try to log in with that email address. And if you can't, then have that password reset. For obvious reasons, we don't give out passwords. You, could, you would have to have it reset. Once this has been created, we're going to send an automatic email to the person that you created, letting them know that, hey, we created your account and we need you to validate. You can see here, I got it in my email address, account created for the Fall Front Fling Gala. It says a new account has been created for you. Follow this link to finish setting up your account. After your account is set up, you can log in at this address and use the following information. This is your email address that we registered. And by following this link, you're going to establish a password that you choose to make your account more secure. I'm going to open up a new tab 
and I'm going to log in with the email address and password that I was given and that I set up and it will automatically log me into my admin account with my limited features. You notice here that the only thing I have access to is the landing page content and the only thing I have access to in Event Central is the ability to launch the landing page and I have access to the Butler tool, just like I set up in my permissions. Now, if I need to change those permissions as the super user, I can go ahead and do that anytime I want. So this is a great way to give people access to your admin while at the same time making sure that they don't have too much access. It'll help secure your account and make your event run much more smoothly.